Our great topic of discussion is connective tissue anatomy. We'll discuss it in detail. A real life example of the relationship of connective tissue to the flow of chi is something I think we all can identify with. Whenever you have exercised well, you feel a freedom and fluidity of joint mobility and you are more energized than before the exercise. This is free flowing chi, caused in large part by the melting of the amorphous gram substance in the connective tissue. And as we know, this creates a speeding up of the conductivity of the chi through the body. Oops. Pay close attention to the visual impact the next slides will have, and it will become obvious to you what kind of treatment will open up the flow of chi in your patient's body. I will lead you step by step into understanding what a great impact acupuncture combined with some form of body work as in acupressure, massage, structural integration, etc. All of these have a great impact on the free flow of chi. It is imperative that you take this course before taking structural integration in the flow of chi as it relates directly and is absolutely necessary for you to have a visual and a sense of the connective tissue that's under your hands when you're doing structural integration bodywork.